Hi guys, this is Jude from EasyTex. In this tutorial, I'll be demonstrating how you can troubleshoot and fix the problem of flashing or flickering screen in Windows 11, Windows 10, or even Windows 8 computers. Now, there are several possible reasons why your screen may flicker irrespective of the operating system you're using. These reasons can be broadly categorized into hardware-related and software-related issues. Among the hardware-related issues are issues like loosened or damaged internal cables, especially the cables connecting the screen to the motherboard, faulty screen inverter or backlight, actual physical damage or cracks on the screen panel, defective hardware components, as well as defective or dead graphics cards. On the software-related issues, we have issues like outdated or incompatible graphics card drivers, incompatible applications, interfering system settings, or incorrect display settings. Now we are going to touch upon each of these possible causes, how to identify them, how to go about resolving each of them, and finally, I will walk you through the solution that fixed the flickering in this particular case that I'm having. And now without further ado, let's jump right into it. Okay, so first on the hardware related issues, one quick way to identify if this flashing or flickering is coming from a hardware component is to identify the immediate action before the flashing or flickering occurs. Oftentimes, if your screen flickers when you pick up your laptop or when you are closing the lid or when you have the lid open to a certain extent or just when any object makes contact with your laptop, then this is likely a hardware related issue. More specifically, the flex cable connecting your screen to the motherboard or the screen panel itself has issues. Another related hardware issue that could be confused with flickering or flashing is when you notice some vertical or horizontal lines on your screen when your laptop shakes or when you touch it, then this is probably some physical problem either with the flex cable or the screen itself is actually cracking due to pressure. So if you are having any of such problems, consider changing the flex cable or the screen or both depending on what you confirm to be the problem. On the issue of faulty inverter or backlight, this is applicable mainly to older screens that use the CCFL technology. Here you will notice that the screen flickering comes from either rapid changes in brightness intensity or the screen coming on and off at random intervals, pretty much similar to a faulty fluorescent tube. In such cases, you likely have a defective inverter or backlight. For some laptops, these components are separated from the screen so you could buy and replace them without replacing the entire screen compartment. But for newer models, they come integrated to the screen, hence you will need to change the entire screen. Now changing of screen can be quite delicate for most laptops, so I will advise seeking the help of a technician if your case requires a screen replacement. In the case of this laptop, the flickering is not coming from any immediate physical action. The laptop just sits all by itself on the table and continues to flicker intermittently. Here it is very likely that we are dealing with a software related issue. And for that, there are few standard steps to take to rectify this problem. First is to update your graphics card drivers. Now, normally your graphics card drivers, just like most drivers on your computer, would automatically update along with your regular Windows update. So rarely will you need to download and install your graphics card drivers separately. However, in this case, where outdated graphics card is a very likely culprit, it is advisable to visit the graphics card manufacturer support site to download and install the latest drivers for your graphics card. More so, if this flickering starts just after downloading and installing your Windows updates, then it's likely that the Windows update has automatically installed an outdated or incompatible display drivers, hence causing some malfunctioning and leading to the flickering. For Intel graphics cards, simply visit intel.com. Click on Download Center. Then search for the exact model of your Intel graphics card. If you don't know what model you have, simply right click on the Windows Start button. Select Device Manager. On the Device Manager, click on this side arrow next to the Display Adapters to expand the Display Adapters section. Here identify the Intel graphics device among the options listed. As you can see here, I have Intel Ultra HD Graphics 620. You can first try to update the driver from here by right clicking on it and then selecting Update Driver. Here, click Search Automatically for Drivers and wait for the process to complete. 
Now, if it says the best drivers for your device has been installed without actually downloading and installing anything, then it already installed the best driver that your Windows update could detect, which may not be the latest driver or maybe an incompatible one. Hence, you will need to do the direct manual download from Intel. So here I will search for the exact driver model. And from the search result, I will select the category that matches the processor I have, which is 8th Gen Intel. So it falls here. Now before downloading, let's compare the version I currently have with this version and see if they are different. Here, as you can see, the currently installed version is this 31.0.101.1999, while the version available on Intel is this 31.0.101.2115, which suggests that despite updating my driver from this device manager, I still don't have the latest version of this driver. So I will hit download and wait for the download to complete. After downloading, simply run like you would run normal applications. And after installing, just restart your computer and see if the flickering goes away. Now in applying this fix, some graphics card might require reinstalling the graphics driver from safe mode, especially the NVIDIA graphics card. So you might need to log in to safe mode before uninstalling and reinstalling the required graphics drivers. If this issue continues, the next fix would be to try to disable incompatible applications you might have installed recently. Now, some applications can cause screen flickering issues, especially if they are not compatible with Windows 11. This is common with graphics intensive applications as well. So if you have installed any applications recently before the flickering started, then you should try to disable such applications and see if that resolves the issue. To do this, simply click on the start menu and then go to settings. In settings, click on apps. On the apps, click on apps and features. Here you can select sort by installation date to reveal the most recently installed applications. Then select the app that is likely to be causing the issue. Click the uninstall button to remove it. Check if there is any other application that might be causing this and do the same. Afterwards, Simply restart your computer and see if that resolves the issue. If the flickering continues, the next fix would be to adjust your display settings. Now, incorrect display settings have also been reported to be capable of causing the screen flickering issues. To adjust the display settings, right click on your desktop, select display settings. From here, you can change either the refresh rate or the resolution or any other settings that you might suspect. Then restart your computer and see if the flickering goes away. Here select advanced display settings. Here remember that some display settings might not be available for some graphics cards. Like in this case, the only refresh rate available for this graphics card is this 60 Hz, but for some cards you would have more options than that. So adjust whatever option your card provides and see if that stops the flickering. Another possible fix to try would be to disable hardware acceleration. Now, hardware acceleration can cause screen flickering issues, especially if the graphics card is not compatible with the hardware acceleration features. To disable hardware acceleration if present, simply go to settings. Under settings, click on system, then display. And then somewhere here you should have graphics settings. Click on it. And then select hardware accelerated GPU scheduling and toggle the switch off if it's turned on. Now, not everybody is going to see this setting. It depends on what your graphics card supports. Now, there has also been reported cases of malware causing screen flickering issues. This is quite rare, but if you suspect that this issue might have been caused by malware, then you can use your antivirus software to scan your system for any malware and remove it if found.
Finally, and this was the solution that worked in my case. First, I discovered that the flickering on this laptop happens only when the laptop is operating on battery power. So as soon as I attached a power adapter to it, the flickering stopped immediately. Second, I discovered that the flickering reduced substantially and sometimes stops completely when I dim the screen to lower intensities. Upon checking this, I discovered that this was coming from the Intel Display Power Saving Technology DPST. As the name implies, this is a feature on some Intel graphics chips designed to optimize the power usage of the screen by automatically adjusting the screen brightness based on what is shown on the screen. Some call it adaptive brightness. Unfortunately, this doesn't go well with all displays, hence causing flickering on some screens. To disable this feature, simply open the Intel Command Graphics Center or Intel Graphics and Media Control Panel, depending on what version you have. From search, you can type Intel, and then you should see it in your search result. Then on this pop-up, here click on this system icon and then click on power. Under the power settings, you will see where it says on battery and then plugged in. Click on the on battery option. Then scroll down a bit and you will see where it says panel self refresh and then below it says save power by allowing panels to refresh independently. Just flip that off. Now if the flickering continues, then also flip off this display power settings feature and see if that does it for you. In my own case, just by turning off the panel self-refresh, the flickering stopped immediately. Now, earlier in the video, I did mention that such flickering could come from hardware or software related causes. So far, all the solutions in this tutorial has bordered around software related causes of flickering. And quite obviously, the video is already stretching too long. As such, I'm currently making a second part to this tutorial where I will cover a hardware related case of screen flickering and how I managed to get that fixed. Once that is ready, I will add the link down the video description. And that is it for this tutorial. Hope one of these was able to help you out. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful and share with anyone you think might want to see. Drop us a comment if you have any questions or feedbacks. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications for updates on future tech support videos like this one. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.